Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, we're gonna be testing uh, for a particular tournament that's coming up. I qualified last month for the standard MIQ. Uh, this was for finishing top 1200 on Arena. So the tournament is Saturday. I'll be participating in the tournament. Um, this is a chance to qualify for the next Mythic Invitational. Um, so I'm testing out, I'm kind of going between uh, Blue White Yorian and Esper, uh, Doom Foretold Yorian. Um, they're generally the decks that I'm most comfortable with from a playstyle perspective, and I think they give you the best odds to win. Um, so this is a kind of a list that I've been refining. Um, we've played a, a version of this about two weeks ago, um, and I've just been kind of plugging in here and there as the meta shifts. Uh, I've noticed a lot more aggro when I was playing this morning. I played three mono red decks and uh, a couple rogues, so we're seeing a reoccurrence of those decks. Um, so what I have done is... Uh, put in two Blood Chiefs Thirst main. I've gone up to the fourth copy of Glass Casket and I reintroduced the Birth of Miladies to the deck. Um, I'm also playing Skyclave Apparition in this version. Um, the previous version I wasn't. Um, and then I cut down on Elspeth's Nightmare. This was very good against the Rakdos deck, which we're just not seeing as much of now. Um, it's particularly bad against um, some of these Yorian piles. Um, and as such, because we're playing a lot of the mirrors, Charming Prince hasn't been as needed. I haven't been wanting to draw multiples uh, for the loop, so I've cut down on those. Um, but particularly with this deck, what you're trying to do is get a bunch of like enchantments out, uh, stuff that can be sacrificed, and then you use Doom Foretold, and then your opponent sacrifices their good stuff, where you sacrifice the stuff you've already gotten value out of. And then Yorian could come in and basically blink everything on your battlefield. So you can draw extra cards, you could get extra tokens in life, um, get lands, stuff like that. Um, we're playing three uh, Conqueror's Death and then the Shark, two Typhoon's main, two in the side. Um, because we're seeing more aggressive decks, I've been opting to have less Typhoon's main. Um, whereas if we start seeing more Yorian decks, then I'll go up to the full uh, playset again. I'm also putting in one Dream Trawler is just a faster clock to uh, kind of push through the extra damage. And then I've just kind of tweaked the mana base slightly. Um, went down a Fabled Passage and a Trinome uh, for a Hagra's Mauling as well as a Temple of Deceit. And went up another Basic Plains in lieu of Castle Lockwain. Um, and then the sideboard still just kind of picking out pieces here. Um, I'd like the Omen of the Suns as a flash threat when we gonna go more counter spell based. Um, it's also a good way to gain life against aggressive decks that have blockers as well as pressure in the mirror. Um, Cling to Dust versus the Rogues matchups and the Gates disputes, uh, two Arcans, and then I'm playing a total of six sweepers uh, in this particular list with the two Typhoons in the side. Um, the one card I may want to try is. Um, What's it? Like Soul something? Exile. It's the 5 mana sweeper. Shadow's Verdict. So exile creatures and planeswalkers with CMC 3 or less from the battlefield and from the graveyards. This is particularly good against rogues. Um, has some utility against some of the other decks as well. I may try this instead of the the fourth shatter. Or the third shatter. Let's try that out, see how this goes. It is five mana versus four, um, but I think against that deck, being able to hit their graveyard is also reasonable. So let's try that out, see how it goes. Um, I ended up dropping a bit. We were in like the 200s. I, had a, I went like one in three this morning, so not the best performance. So we'll try to get back up there. Esper Doom Dance. Let's go! So if you're catching this on YouTube, if you haven't done so already, we do have a Discord set up. I'll post it in the video description. Um, chat magic, stuff like that, fun place to be. Uh, we also, if you are on YouTube, if you can, drop a like, comment, or subscribe. All are free and easy ways to help out the channel. If you haven't done so, uh, following on Twitch lets you know when I go live. Uh, but we'll try to refine this one for the upcoming tournament, see how it goes. The client's apparently been a little buggy since um, the patch went in today. So we'll see um, in between games, we might have to close the client, reopen it. There's a basic land bug that's going around if you're using the unstable arts. 
it shows up as your card back. Just can't find a, an opponent. Nobody's playing standard. All right. How far do we get paired down? 95%. Mikey Coppola. Draw. What is up with this client? What the hell? It dropped us 100 spots because of a draw? Well, that's very frustrating. I like Yorian the most. Um, it's You're basically going to be playing some sort of food deck, like green, some sort of aggressive deck, um, like Gruel, or just mono green Stompy, or Yorian, or Rogues. Of those, I'm most comfortable with these, so that's why I'm kind of playing this out. So I'll play this out first. I think this hand's fine. Against an aggressive deck, we have a Sweeper. They're on the Merfolk plan. Put in a mind to that Typhoon. So no play there is pretty good. We'll do this after the mill, so that way we can set up our scry. The thirst would have been nice as well. So currently at two cards in the graveyard. Um, so what's our turn look like, most likely? I think having that's fine. Our turn's probably Skyclave Apparition this turn. We only have two cards here, so they can't. Um... Drown in the Lock doesn't work here. One's playing very slow as well. Okay, they have Thought Thief. So the nice thing is I can Extinction Event this next turn. They on Zareth San? Oh, so they're not on Luris. So they can get back this Dream Trawler. So we may just have to shatter this guy here if they get Dream Trawler back. They get Shark Typhoon. Okay. So that's even. Um, I don't want to give him a card draw here. So let's attack. Was not expecting this version to be coming out. Next turn, I can Omen of the Sea and get Yorian out. Draw some cards that way. Hagra's Mauling is also not bad. Kind of want to wait to use this shatter. Moment of the sun's nice.
Hey Matt, how's it going? We're playing like old school rogues. If they fetch, I'm gonna play the omen in response there. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. They played Zareth Sand and stole my Shark Typhoon. So I'm gonna do this now. I also queued up, got timed out, went to a draw, and then lost 100 uh, rank, which was really annoying. How's testing been for you for the tournament? Another Zareth Sand. I'd really appreciate it if they'd stop that. So they probably take my Dream Trawler here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I tried your list. I couldn't, um, like, I know it's working for you. I just, I couldn't win games with it. Uh, nothing great in there. So let's just play out the planes. Shatter the sky here. Stupid Xerath sign. So we have the mauling next turn. One, two, three, four, five. So we probably just bring Yorian to hand. And then uh, have it for the following turn. Hagra's mauling. Whatever they play out. Clockwise, they're also going pretty slow. So I do need to play this out so I can have mauling up. And I'm going to do the, t I'm going to target them on their turn. So to try to tap them out. I think this version, we're probably going to side out the Shark Typhoons. They're a bit of a liability. Okay. Getting rid of Conker's Death's not that bad. Hopefully this resolves. Okay, it does. What are they doing clockwise? This will give me a blocker for Thieves Guild. Looking for Doom Foretold. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Buffers my life total a bit. So we don't want Conker's Death. Wouldn't mind a Glass Casket. Ask and you will be rewarded. So this Glass Casket can probably bait them. Oh, they're probably just going to castle here. Just bodes pretty well. I'm surprised they didn't do that in response to me casting Yorian. Like, I feel like you'd want to try to get yourself an out. So 
So for eight mana next turn. So we probably get rid of the wind robber. Oh, they just sacrifice. Okay, that's better. Because now I can target this. And they're tapped out of blue mana, which bodes well for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have Conquer's Death, Omen, Omen. So Conquer's Death, Omen, Omen. So get rid of this. Play this out. Refill our hand and then I can sack it on my upkeep. Yikes. Mono lands isn't great. No tax here. So let's see if they sack the Shark Typhoon here or one of their Thieves Guild. Okay, get rid of Thieves Guild. Okay, so I think now we Elspeth's Nightmare. This is probably um, call. Yikes, 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 yikes. The menace is pretty good too. Jeez. I'm hoping this last card's not a counter spell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So X equals eight. Can't really afford to play around dispute. Two, three, four, five, six. Now let's be more specific. Okay, so I don't really want Omen. I want another Doom. I want one Nightmare. I don't want birth. I do want casket. I do want doom. Guess we can get omen. Okay, so that's really good that that resolved. Uh, glass casket, the flyer. I think both are reasonable. They have to sack their board here.
We are at 18 cards, but we have a mom lethal. Okay. A little tricky with Zareth Sand there, but we got through it. Um, I don't think we want Shark Typhoon here. Let's just bring in all the removal, bring in the disputes. Probably want another Omen here. The Arkin's interesting. They're a bit bigger of a version. Um, let's see what we're cutting. I don't want the Dream Trawler. This version, we can probably play two Conquerors Death. Doom's fine. We have our Sweepers. On the play, I'm going to get rid of Blessings. I think we keep Nightmares. Probably trim like that. How am I winning? Through this and then just that. Yeah, let's try it like that. Maybe play it like that. I want to use like my instant speed stuff to catch them. We can trade with most of their stuff. Keep this hand. That's good. I can save my fetch now to fix my mana. Use Blood Chief on this Thieves Guild. Both were good cards. Kind of unfortunate there. Um, Here... Can Charming Prince try to trade with them? That gets countered. Let's try that. Don't want either of those. If I can trade here, because then ideally if they play Thor Soaring Thought Thief, which they are, probably should just gain three life. The scry is kind of stupid in this case. So they can attack in the sky here. Probably take them off uh, Thought Thief if I can. Ooh, Omen's nice. I think we just do this. Clockwise, we're up five minutes. Okay, so they're using a gate there. We'll hold back. So the second one's annoying. So we'll block here. Then try to sneak Doom down. They might have Xerath Sand, just missing lines. Um, let's try this out. Because I can upkeep Omen of the Sun. At least we're getting the counters out of them. Just try to stay alive and then dance of the manse. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, I kind of wanted that. So they just definitely have Xerath in hand, and they're probably trying to dig to a land. Gain some life, and the next turn I can Yorian. 
There was a play to just play Yorian out. I might have done, should have done that. They were tapped out of blue mana. Okay, so we have a Mirius call here. Try to get this counter out of their hand. If they don't, then I can start the loop. Yeah, should have tried to get Yorian down last turn. Well, it does get the spewed out. I'm just gonna get beat down by this stupid uh, flyer. So I can do a mini dance here. You got a counter? Paying three there hurts, but it's worth to have um, Yorian in hand next turn. Okay, so they're playing Brazen Borrower. That's good to know. Probably take the dance here. Dispute would be really good. Just literally what I just tried to get. Seven. So we can try again with Yorian. So they can't dispute this. They can have another Brazen Borrower, which sets us back pretty hard tempo-wise. This doesn't do as much, so I think we kind of need to play into this. Okay, gets another counter out of them. I'm oh, the sun's not bad. Gains me some life. I'm gonna play it out with Doom. Oh, actually, they're gonna mill me anyways. Derp. Board wipe would be good here. Okay, cool. Hey, Keith, how's it going? Let's see if we can uh, bait out a counter here. Okay. Board cleared. They had another thought, Thief. Cool. How, have you played much Arena before? First time? I'm uh, practicing for one of the big tournaments that's coming up. I finished top 1200 Mythic in the world last year, or last month. So it's like a qualifier tournament. Opponent is stuck on lands and they are digging. They are certainly digging. Ah, so still. Uh, have you found a deck you like yet? What have you been uh, playing around with color-wise or strategies? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so let's scry here, see what we get. Dance is great. Mono white life gain. That's a cool deck for sure. 
Um, I think we just passed the turn here. They sack. Oh, I, sh I need to put the upkeep stop. I want to exile their shade. Yeah, that's a good way to kind of get started. Um, as you get higher up, the life gain might not be as effective, especially in best of three. Um, people tend to play a bit more removal, but it's a good like um, starter deck for sure. Okay, so here we're going to exile. In particular, we're looking to get rid of non-line stuff. Are you playing like Luris's main deck at all or any kind of recursion effects? So that's fine. Um, so here, how much mana do I have? Four, so two, seven. I can do this for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I don't want birth. We get a bunch of tokens here, gain a bunch of life, and they're dead. Yeah, that's not bad versus um, some of like the rogue style strategies. What we're playing today is uh, Yorian Doom Foretold, which is kind of uh, what they refer to as stacks. I'm just gonna give the client a quick reset because it's been a bit glitchy. Basically what you're trying to do is throw out a bunch of enchantments and then sacrifice them to Doom Foretold and then get them all back with uh, Dance of the Mance. You can look to, um, there have been a couple mono white aggro decks which um, looked. Arena crashed. I don't know what they're on, so we'll keep this just in case. First time playing against Yellow Hat, which is cool. Oh, they're on the... He's on Rogues. But the more control version. Um, there is Mono White Aggro, which is... Um, more of a aggressive version with um, Mall of the Sky Claves as well as um, like the 3-1 uh, that gets indestructible. That might be something to look into as well. So this version plays Shark Typhoons. They bypass Luris for the Typhoons. Okay, so double glass caskets pretty nice here. I think what we do, because we have the Melites for the. for the land. Okay, so he doesn't have counter spells. Yeah, yeah, this one's gonna be fun. Um, so here, I think we just passed the turn. Hold up Omen of the Sea. So Yellow Hat is Gabriel Nassif, who is a very, very talented Magic player, Pro League. Um, so this is kind of cool to play against him.
Yeah, you can play best of three just in like ranked queues as well. Okay, we're good for lines, I think. Blessings are actually not bad. So I think what we do, do this. Just play out blessings. If they cancel, ca uh, counter it, then it's good for us. Gets counter out of his hand. Didn't say please. Yeah, it's, ah, there's my doom foretold. Yeah, no, it's really cool to be playing. I've played against like um, Brad Nelson a couple times, which is cool. He was one of my favorite like standard players. Got another counter. We are winning this race right now. Him stuck on mana bodes well for us. Oh, these are islands. Oh, the art's so hard to see. These look like swamps. Um, I only have one blue mana. I th think we... I think we force their hand. Because then that makes it so they can't draw cards. Typhoon's nice. Gives me something to do next turn. One, two, one, two, three, four. Into the story, that's fine. Deep skills. Also okay. This can force out removal. Yeah. I can casket away this. So this kind of incentivizes them if they have something to play it out. Um, not quite a full collection Kiwi, um, but I have most. I have pretty much every like tier one deck by nature of streaming. Um, I usually play a different deck list every stream. I'm just going to gain the life here. They're a mill deck, so it's less impactful. That's fine. Going to play this omen out on end step. Speeds up the clock.
I think we do this. So scribe on upkeep to make I wanted to see what my options were. If we can get that dance of the mance to resolve, it'll be good. Yeah, I'd suggest before spending like all your wild cards crafting, find something that interests you. Um, so I'd suggest like watching streams like whether it be my stream, other uh, content creators streams, uh, see what type of archetype you like and then go from there. Okay, that's not too shabby. Gets them to tap down a bit. I assume they have the mana here. You got it. The drown in the lock. We are probably getting countered there regardless. Yeah, if you have a deck and you got the platinum, that's a good pace to get going. So we're just going to force him here. He can gain three life. We have one Charming Prince in the graveyard, one Yorian. Okay, we got the Angels. He might have Extinction Event. Thirst there. Ah, jeez. Yeah, but even to some extent, I find um, platinum, oh, sorry, like diamond at times harder than some of the other formats. So they can gain three life here. Thought Thief eats one of these. So we're gonna do this on even, otherwise we're dead. We haven't drawn very well. Him having more counters really hurt us here. No counters. Nassif's generally a slower player, so I'm going to let him use some clock. Hmm. Why are my emotes gone? Okay, so against Nassif here, I do like these omens, the negates, the disputes, typhoons, clings, hearts. Verdict coming out likely not going to resolve Dream Trawler. Conquer's death doesn't do too much. The nightmare is fine. It attacks his hand. Could probably trim two apparitions. Trim the births. Kind of like blessings. It gives me some card advantage. Probably trim one on the play. 82 cards. Sky Clay is probably not going to do much in this matchup. Plus it gives him tokens. Looks like they're only playing eight um, creatures. 
I still want the dance. They're one of my better cards. Hmm. Yorian's still good. Probably trim and Emiria's call. Psycho. Is it the problem I have with is it is it has a tough time against like it could probably do well against Demir, but against the green base decks, it has a hard time taking those creatures off the battlefield. Like something like Wicked Wolf, I can't really kill. Um, quest, uh, questing Beast, it's a little harder sometimes. Like you can have the four points of damage, but um, anything five. Love Struck Beast, you have a hard time taking care of that. We were very close there. We got him down to one. Could have been the turn that we played Yorian. We should have just played the second Omen. Not get him to spend the mana for the turn. He may end up switching if this version, like I like his version of Rogues. It's a little bit more um, control based. Sand's garbage. Okay, we'll keep this hand. Um, I think we put the negate back. Mm. I think I want to hit lines here. Yeah, Mythic's a weird spot. You get the people who are like, I want to get to top of the ladder. And then you get the people who are like, now it's jank time. I would say if they're like below 93, 94%. Anything in the 80s, they're either on a terrible streak or they're just playing jank. I think we hold off here. I can play this, have Mystical Dispute, or I can have Elspeth's Nightmare. Ideally, we do Nightmare here. Okay, so they can have the counter here. I think I just want to keep hitting lines. I think holding up disputes good. Okay. Cling to dust. That's fine. We have another cling. So he's digging. So we have two disputes. We missed the line drop, which kind of sucks. Okay, them cycling's pretty good. So ideally I go Nightmare here into Dispute. Missing land drops two turns in a row has been really bad. Okay, that 
that's good. It's not the best, but hopefully get something going. Four four here. They sack their thieves guild. Double mill here. Five six. We have this event. Let's see if we can get this to resolve. I actually should have kept up double dispute here. Screwed that up. Let's just tap them out. So I think we cling our cling like a land in our graveyard. They can cling or cling. Yeah, I screwed that up. We need to hold up double dispute. That was the way we cleared the board. Cling their cling. Need a board wipe here. So they cling the cling. So I'm not quite dead, pretty dead. So if they try to cling to dust, I can counter it. Solemn Divisions. So I do need to target a creature here. Actually, I want these. Can get rid of Blessings. So the story doesn't help. Not that great. We need shatter. But even dispute's not that good here. Um, my favorite deck at the moment is this deck here. Uh, Esper Doom. It's generally speaking, it's the playstyle I enjoy. Hagra's Mauling. I 
I'm short either way. Is it is the color combination of red and blue? Um, doesn't really matter. Yeah, um, you'll get more familiar. Like usually they'll, they'll label deck lists as such. Yeah, good games. Uh, if I'm gonna lose to someone, losing to Pro Tour, let me go wish him GG's. Alright, let's run one more. Client's been a little buggy today, so just kind of cycling through. So if we're seeing more of those types of decks, do we want disputes? We're also running into a little bit of card draw. Like earlier today I was playing nothing but aggro decks. So maybe instead of the births, we do golden egg. That'll help with some of the card draw, leaves another permanent on the battlefield. Maybe instead of a, do it like that. And then the sideboard, I have the heartless axe. Disputes are probably fine. Yeah, let's try it like that. Yeah, that's one of the good things when you can kind of execute on your strategy. Jay Myers, let's see what they're on. Play first is a good sign. Sounds good. A lot of options with this hand. We can Golden Egg. If we need to be defensive, we have the Charming Prince. So I think in the dark here, let's just go Golden Egg. We have a couple Ideally, if they play out a creature, okay, so red's good. We're not playing rogues. Gruel. Gruel, no creature. It's probably Bone Crusher Giant. Yep. So this turn's likely going to be Omen of the Sea. Okay, they play Lotus Cobra. Um, both are actually really good. So I think I'm actually, because the opponent's mana screwed right now. I want to get this Doom Foretold for like a future turn. I think we're, we're likely to draw another land. Because if they hit a land, they probably play out this Bone Crusher, then I play Doom Foretold. They just go Cultivate. Okay. So we're going to go Shark Typhoon here. We can see what's up in their hand as well. Okay, so they are a Terror Ugin deck. 
Yikes. That case. So hopefully they just go terror the peaks here. They might just try to ramp up ahead. These double bone crushers. Okay, so let's go X3 here. So I'm actually going to do Glass Casket here and then bring Yori into hand. I want them to play this out and if they see Doom then they might. Yeah, so they're good, planning on um, developing all the card pool or like the main tier for a format called Pioneer. Um, which is uh, about five to six years worth of cards. So they're slowly introducing that. Right now they have an eternal format called Historic on Arena. It's basically all the cards that are on Arena plus uh, some cards they inject through anthologies or special sets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so if they don't actually play out anything, I can just get the loop going. Uh, commander, they have something called Brawl, but they don't have a dedicated commander format at this time. Uh, it's called Pioneer. It's from the set Return to Ravnica up to current standard. Um, I think I want removal. So for those of you unfamiliar, how the loop works with Yorian and Charming Prince is Yorian blinks Charming Prince, Charming Prince blinks y Yorian, and then they're able to cycle through each other. Yeah. And then you kind of lock out your opponent. So the opponent looks to be on Teamer Ramp. Um, so this is a matchup we're going to want our removal. Um, the disputes are interesting. Yeah, that is a nice one. Um, these are good. In the glass caskets, we can probably cut down a couple of those. Actually, Elspeth's Nightmare seems particularly bad. Uh, 80 cards. Do I want Negate? And do I want these disputes? We have mauling, we have the creature removal. I think we go like that. Five sweepers, a couple of those come down. This exiles most of their stuff. Does it? Maybe trim one of these. The Arkin gets chumped by most stuff. Teamer is the color combination the opponent's playing. So it's the three colors of red, blue, and green. So their archetype is what we would refer to as Teamer Ramp. Um, they're ideally trying to... Uh, I think if we want to curve out, we keep this, put the Trinome back. Um, they're trying to cheat mana into play and then cast a card called Genesis Ultimatum, which puts a bunch of cards into play for free. So our hand this go around is a bit slower. We don't have a, a spell for this to kill it. So they will get ahead on mana. Maybe we want Dispute on the play. 
We could catch some of their stuff. Yikes, too many lines. Thank you. We have drawn, we pushed back like three lines. We pushed back four lines and we've proceeded to just draw more lines. If they play terror here, it's pretty bad. Yeah, that means they don't have Terror, but they can go Genesis Ultimatum next turn. So we've fallen quite a far ways behind here. This opponent here is at 7 mana. We're at 3. And they have the Visionary. Draw some another card. Attack in. Attack in. Pfft. I love when I draw nothing but lions. So this matchup can't really do much if all we're drawing is lions. Here if they have Genesis Ultimatum we're very far behind doesn't look like it is mind you that is f pretty much free to play since it only costs them one so one okay they play that out if they attack with visionary I probably block Just take some off that. I'm gonna hold off on this fetch. Okay, Hagar's Mauling's nice. Gives me a removal spell. Masimoto, thanks for the follow. Just kill all of this. Okay, so with Terror now gets pretty scary. This is going to deal 10 damage to me when it comes into play. Shark Typhoon also doesn't do a whole lot. Actually, Shark Typhoon's not bad because it gives me 4 power to block this Terror. They might have Ultimatum here. Yeah, I think I do want the Disputes. If we can slow them down on their Mana Ramp. And I think I just want to bring in all my removal. They deal 11 to me. Interesting. So this do it for four. Opponent's being very patient, or they're stream sniping. Oh my god, stop drawing lands. Okay, Doom Foretold is a nice one. See if they have another big thing in hand. Oh, they just have Ugin. They just have the minus zero. Yeah. I wonder if the opponent was stream sniping there. It seems unusual that uh, 
they perfectly played around a lot of our stuff. Um, probably don't want the negates. Hagros Mauling's fine. Conquers that's fine. The Dream Trawler seems particularly bad here. I'm just going to cut these Skyclaves. Don't see them in the chat. I think we set up our scry first. Ideally, I think I want to land here. If we can get Doom going with the Omens, we're in a really good spot. We don't have blue mana right now, so I'm going to bin that. Probably also play this tapped. Okay, so this turn is going to be Glass Casket the Cobra. Stop them from getting a bunch of mana. Hopefully that slows them down. Kiwi, thanks for the tier one sub. Appreciate the support. So here I'm doing this to keep him off mana again. I put a stop on my upkeep for Omen of the Sun. Kind of don't mind actually sacking this because it keeps this doom foretold alive longer no problem um we do have a discord so if you do have questions want to chat there's a bunch of us here so you can join i also put together a whole bunch of youtube videos so everything we play on stream goes up on youtube so we pretty much play every tier one meta deck um, so it's a good resource if you're looking to see how decks play out stuff like that so sacrifice the oh nope sacrifice the omen here all right so let's go Black source here. Put this into hand. Pass the turn. End step will omen of the sun. Yep. So they have terror. And this is what I, I like about this deck. You could get into spots where your opponent just can't beat you. Um, another Yorian's not bad. Nah. Ooh, that's very good. Uh, so we're going to do this. I want the card draw. So we'll get another card draw here. They lose their terror. I think we're okay just poking him in for some damage here. We lose one, but starts putting a clock on them. Uh, conquers death also. So one, two, so I want the land first and then I want conquers death. I think if I was the opponent, I'd stop playing stuff. Uh, if we had this up, would have been good. No Ugin. OK, 
Okay, they have choices. Oh, that doesn't bode well for the opponent. So they could have Ugin, so I'm kind of reluctant. So I want to hold up three mana. So I think we just passed the turn here. They've got a full grip, so I just want to count counter whatever they play, and then dance of the man's back my doom foretold and a whole bunch of stuff. Because that's six, seven, eight, nine, so we have lethal on board. Terror of the peaks. So if I pay for this, then I just conquer's death. And they're dead. Got him! Got them!